reactions are coming and many more congratulatory messages to president elect donald trump all over the world there are those who are disappointed there are those who are very very happy depending on where the bread is buttered now in kenya we are still waiting for the president to congratulate donald trump maybe they are waiting for the official communication or confirmation by the electoral board in the US but many leaders all over the world have congratulated Donald Trump because it is a done deal and I'm not saying a done deal I'm saying a done deal now the deputy president or the former deputy president of Kenya Rigathi Gachagua sent a congratulatory message to Donald Trump and his message the messaging is one that caught my attention because he resonates with the predicament that Donald Trump went through before we read that congratulatory message i think i had even read it earlier i also want to repeat the publication of one of the dailies because it summarizes what Donald Trump went through before he bounced back as the 47th president of the USA. Now Donald Trump if you look in the next few days you will look at the president the former president of the USA and you realize that he has been the 45th president and he took an interview then the 47th president this publication and i think i read it earlier summarizes what donald trump went through and i want us to juxtapose it with what regarding the shagwa feels he's going through this publication is saying donald trump has been elected the 47th president of the united states an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat for years ago sparked a violent insurrection at the US Capitol was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts now i want us to go to the life and times of rigadi gashagwa as a deputy president number 1 rigadi is now a former deputy president just like at some point donald trump was a former president rigadi refused defeat when he was about to be sent home by the parliament he called people at his current home and defended himself he is being accused of sparking or infiltrating the gnz protest to overturn ruto's government just the same way donald trump was accused some of his people are facing court charges major don kavulu said gakuya and many more and very soon people feel that the shaka could also face the same fate he could be charged in a court of justice and donald trump survived two assassination attempt attempts regardi shaka says twice the nis uh, attempted to kill him So when he looks at his life he feels he can really resonate well with Donald Trump and he still has got some political ambitions and he feels that even though he has been ousted he will make a comeback and let us go to what he's saying in this congratulatory message because it is the the, the messaging resonates with what I'm saying he says congratulations president Donald Trump for one of the biggest political comebacks of our generation your victory is clear proof that resilience and a never say die attitude will always trump obstacles on the path to your destiny god bless you god bless uh, america now according to i don't know whether i'm reading too much but according to the messaging regard the feels that with 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 greatest resilience he can always come back the same way Donald Trump has has bounced back because he's saying that this is 
a clear proof that resilience and a never say die attitude will always trump obstacles. So he feels there have been obstacles that have been placed on his way. Maybe he thought that he would uh, inherit William Ruto's seat after they do their two terms, but there are obstacles that have been placed before him. And he says Donald Trump's victory is a clear proof that a resilient attitude and a never say die attitude is one that will always reward you victory. From where you sit, what do you make out of that congratulatory message? He did it very fast, by the way, William Ruto has not done his and the entire Kenya Kwanzaa. There isn't anyone. As at the time I was doing this video, and I know the people like the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Deputy President, cannot do it before William Ruto does it. Do you think Rigeti Keshago can make a comeback? Do you think he can make a comeback? If the courts rule that he has been impeached, he cannot contest in 2027. He can only contest in 2032. Considering Trump's age, I know it is an encouragement even to to regard the Shago, that it does not matter. If he can only wait for five, four, ten more years, he can try his hand. If the courts decide to help him a little bit, he can contest in 2027. Do you think he can make it? That is a question that we can only answer by 2027. Because there are going to be realignments here and there. You do not know what God has in store for each and every person. We cannot decide it now. Because we do not know even uh, whether Raila is going to win the AU seat. If he loses, we don't know what will happen. But regarding Gashagwa feels that he's got this I never say die attitude. Regarding Zago Geta, you've seen him. In fact, in 2022, MPs voted for Kithuri Kindiki to become the running mate of William Ruto. But because of this go getter attitude, Rigadi forced his way. And you can see where Rigadi is coming from. He believes he can make a comeback. But we can only wait and see. This was not just a congratulatory message to Donald Trump, but it was a coded message to William Samuel Ruto. Despite the obstacles that you've placed on my way, Despite all the predicaments that you, 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 you've made me go through, I will still come back. You've seen the way people kept on telling Rigeti Keshagwa, can you resign? But Rigeti Keshagwa laughed off. He said he would go to the fullest length, he will fight it in the court of justice. But the courts are being controlled. Rigeti Keshagwa also understands that William Ruto is not very happy. Because William Ruto was really voting for... The, for the Democrats candidate Kamala Harris and I know many ladies and almost all women in the, in the world wanted Kamala Harris to become the president but Gashago understand that they, they, they were assisted by the, by the Democrats to ascend to power he knows the role that Meg Whitman played and he's, he knows very well what, that William Bruce is now a very sad person but, but Rigadi is very happy because he knows that Things are not going to be the same for William Ruto. Things are going to change, and they're not going to change for the for the for the better. They're going to change for that because the relationship that William Ruto had with the with the Joe Biden was a cordial one. And I know because they are presidents, they will still they are still going to have a, a cordial relationship with Trump, but not like the one that they had with Joe Biden, where Ruto became just a puppet, accepting everything from from Joe Biden, and many also have hopes that maybe we are going to have a stable country, country where we can exercise our autonomy without relying so much to the USA. I don't know what you think, but we wait and see how things unfold.